before we sing our next song, I'd love you to listen to two prophetic words that have been given to us by Rosemary and by Miriam. Uh, just to say, if you're unfamiliar, if you're watching this and you're unfamiliar with uh, the prophetic, with prophecy in general, the Bible tells us that it's a gift of the Holy Spirit that's given to some Christians in order that we can hear God's voice for ourselves today. And it's meant to encourage us and strengthen us. Love you to just observe the main themes as well of these two prophetic words. God, it seems through these words, is telling us to get ready for something new that he wants to do. It seems like a fresh outpouring of his Holy Spirit is on the way that's going to affect people, including the prodigals, those who are currently away from God, which is very exciting to hear. But also I'd like you to observe how God is encouraging us to come to him to let him challenge us and to change us, to be willing to let him uh, examine our hearts and change us. It's so in line uh, with the preaching uh, of recent uh, weeks. So I hope you find these prophecies helpful. And then as soon as uh, we've heard the second one of these uh, prophetic words, what we'll do is we'll stand up and we'll sing our final song before Jeeves comes to preach. Well, um... I felt that God was really speaking to me um, actually on Sunday the 29th of March um, and I wrote it down. Um, our house group leaders sent over a picture um, of Dirk uh, repairing his surfboard and I felt God just really uh, quite powerfully speak to me about that. Um, that it's um, that actually uh, we are being prepared by God. He's getting us ready. I felt it, I'll just read, read out what I've written down here. I felt it was a picture of God getting us ready. This is a time of preparation. The wave is coming. Is this a wave of revival? I've got in um, brackets. I felt the verse, Psalm 139 verses 23 and 24, search me, O Lord, and see if there's anything holding me back. Um, I felt that this was really key. God's getting us ready. And then I've underlined that. There's a new wave coming. We need to be ready to ride it. And I felt also God was speaking to me about Isaiah 43, that he's doing a new thing, a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. And then I've gone on to write that uh, we should be using this Mary, not Martha moment, to sit at his feet and ask God to search our hearts, smooth out and repair any cracks in our lives. It might be painful just now, but he's getting us ready if we let him. So I just felt that's what God was speaking to my heart um, on the 29th of March. I had this prophetic word Bless you. Um, as I was walking my dog over the North Downs the other day. And I was looking across the 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 veil the valley whatever and I just had a sense of just seeing all these dry bones dry bones in the churches and, and just dry bones everywhere and I felt God was saying pray blessing over them just you know just pray blessing over the dry bones and so I did and it felt like God was saying that these are the prodigals the, the dry bones are the prodigals the people who had lost hope in church who just thinking well what's the point of things and it felt like in Ezekiel it's like they need the word of God breathed into them they need the Holy Spirit breathed into them to bring them back to bring them back to God bring them back to into this mighty army that God is right raising up um, in this time and uh, that's just what I, I feel that um, as a church we need to be praying for the prodigals praying for those people who just a weary and just feels that they've got no hope and that's that's what i feel <laughs>